Here's another thing that irks the shit out of me. When you fly into the airport down here in Florida, because NASA's down here, they have these little uh, like gift shops with full-size astronaut suits for kids and all this NASA bullshit. But when you ask them for physical evidence of going on the moon, the data, the, the fucking um, the video footage so we can forensically identify it, it's all been lost or thrown away. When you ask them about Osama bin Laden's body, it's in the ocean. When I went to four museums in the United States and asked them, are these real dinosaurs? No, the real dinosaur bones are um, hidden away. So what got me in on that was Joe Rogan had a guy named Trevor Vale, a paleontologist on, and you know, Joe Rogan basically has the opposite viewpoint. So when he has a guy on promoting dinosaurs, that means there's no dinosaurs. So I wouldn't even have fucking looked into it, but I did because of fucking Rogan. So I started researching that I'd asked in Seattle, well, where are the dinosaurs? Have you seen the bones? No, they're hit, they're locked away. Locked away for what? You know, locked away for what? So it always comes down to, it's like aliens, Bigfoot. There's never any real physical evidence all the fucking footage you that's how you really know they're full of shit like roswell was a bullshit fuck and i used to believe in roswell you you have zero fucking proof but a great story so it makes you hope but just like i said osama bin laden that was just a fucking action movie that they filmed and then they made it even realer by junking one of the fucking helicopters you know what i mean so everything that you see when you finally start uncovering that the fucking earth is flat you know we're not spinning around if we were spinning around at 20,000 miles per hour couldn't you just take a helicopter and go up and here's the real kicker on us on a globe the reason why you can't fly over Antarctica if you're on a circle well if you started up here in the United States and you went down you would be fucking upside down. So they can't have you fly over Antarctica because either you would be upside down or you can't fly over it. So just some more stuff, look into it. Trust me, I didn't find all this shit out in one day. Sad to say it took me about five years of research. All right guys, any questions? I don't really care about you trolls. You're not going to change my mind. This is how I became a flat earther, was by trying to debunk the flat earth.